It's going to be a special day in San Antonio on Saturday when UTSA hosts Texas State. A former high school football coach facing one of his former quarterbacks on the opposite sideline. Two of the best to ever do it in Texas high school football history, Jeff Trailer, the legendary Gilmer high school football coach, and G.J. Kenny, who played QB1 at both Canton and Gilmer high schools. Now, the reason why Kenny left Canton to become a Gilmer Buckeye was due to the near tragic loss of his father in 2005. I was in my office um, and I remember it, it, it shook me up so much. I immediately uh, took the rest of the day off and uh, went and got JC. She was in pre-K and got her out of school and just spent the rest of the day with my daughter. She couldn't have been four or five at the time. And um, I just remember thinking, why, why does ball even matter? And who could do something that crazy to a coach, you know, over a game? TJ's dad, Gary Joe Kenny, miraculously survived the point blank shot and rehabilitated. He and GJ experienced the best season in Canton football history. Kenny's dad accepted an opportunity at Baylor in the off season and his talented son decided to make the 67 mile move to Gilmer to live with his mom and play for Jeff Trailer. What was that relationship like with you and coach Kenny? Just mutual respect, uh, yeah. distant. I wouldn't say we were close. Just yeah. I respected how hard his teams played. I think he did the same. Uh, but when he decided to take the Baylor job, he called me and told me there wasn't going to be but one coach he's going to let his son play for, and that was going to be me. Um, I explained to Gary Joe that you know I had a quarterback returning, yeah, uh, in Jamal Kennedy that we thought was really good, and Gary Joe was like, I, it doesn't matter uh, if GJ's a a big time quarterback like I think he is, he can beat him out and I want my son coached by you. Prior to his senior season, Kenny received the ultimate honor any Texas high school football player can receive. A cover boy of Dave Campbell's Texas football magazine. Um, and then he has a little brother named McLean that ended up becoming my quarterback that won us the state championship in 2014. I used to always tease McLean, the only thing he could ever do that his brother did not do. <laughs> was won a state championship, and I'll be Dane McLean did it. <laughs> Man, the stories out of Gilmer keep getting better and better when I talk to you about that. After one season as a Longhorn, Kenny transferred to Tulsa and played professionally for several seasons before jumping into coaching, recently leading Incarnate Word deep into the FCS playoffs, and now first-year head coach at Texas State and fresh off of an upset of Baylor. Meanwhile, Trailer retired from high school coaching and took a job at UT under Charlie Strong and bounced around to SMU in Arkansas as an assistant before accepting the UTSA opportunity. He has taken that Roadrunner program into the national spotlight. Think when you look at the big picture, near tragic loss to something that's beautiful about Texas high school football. And then GJ ends up on the cover of Dave Campbell's Texas football, just like you did uh, here recently. I mean, when you look back at all that, I know the power of prayer, having faith and all that, but you know, does it, you look back at something like this, we're not in control, but you realize what an amazing thing, the amazing outcome that Texas high school football created. Yeah, I, I don't think it's unique to just me and GJ in the sense that a relationship between a Texas high school football coach and his quarterback is already uniquely different. Right. You throw in there that, you know, he's a one of the most prolific quarterbacks in the history of Texas high school football, and then he moves to our school. The, de the shooting of his father, uh, him thinking his dad was dead for a moment, um, you know, and then, you know, later on, which has not been reported very much, like McLean's best friend, like GJ's little brother, Desmond Pollard, they were playing basketball. And Desmond's probably the best receiver I've ever coached. And he falls out on the basketball court and dies of a heart complication. And GJ McLean had to deal with that. And GJ called me on the phone right at the, the moment it happened, just to make sure they were doing CPR correctly, calling 911 correctly. And uh, we've just been through a lot. And yeah. then we, we go to SMU together, go to Arkansas together. We coach for Coach Morris. My son joins us in Arkansas. And then him and Jordan become very close. And now my son gets married in April. GJ's in the wedding with Jordan. Jordan, GJ, you know, just, there's, there's just, you, uh, it's just crazy how we've all, we've been so involved with each other now for the last 
Woo. Uh, 18, 20 years. On Saturday, I, I, I know the, the, the question is tiring, but people ask that. What will the handshake be like? What will the conversation be like? That's between you guys. And But when it kicks off, you don't think about that relationship. It's, it's a game. You, you, two different coaches trying to win. I mean, is that fairly, that sums it up pretty much, doesn't it? No doubt. I mean, GJ no. loves his kids just like I love my kids. That's why you do what you do. And uh, he has a unique relationship with his quarterback. I've got one with mine. That's just, that's the business. So you always gonna do what's best for your kids and your university. But when it's all said and done, this is all gonna go away one day. <laughs> Sean's not going to want to talk to me anymore. And, <laughs> that is and, not right. <laughs> somebody, I don't want to talk to GJ anymore, but me and GJ, we're going to stay, we're going to stay thick to the very end of this thing. I think that's beautiful. And, you know, to kind of sum it up, I mean, when you look at how quickly, I know he played professionally, he did amazing things at Tulsa, but as a coach, I mean, I know it's hard for me, for you to answer this, but do you see some of the things that both maybe his dad and you poured into him in the style of coaching that he has? You know, he probably had to speak to that more than I would. Uh, but I've heard him say that, you know, he's taken – he's also – you know, he played for Chip Kelly. Yeah. I think Doug Peterson. He's been around some great coaches. I would imagine that his father had a lot to do with his stuff. But I know offensively it looks very similar. Defensively it looks very similar. Um so but he, it'd probably be better for him to speak on that. Right.